morning, good morning, good morning to each and every one of you all and happy, happy Friday. A beautiful day today, a little bit windy here but we're going to leave that cat right now to try and sort that out and um, then we should be heading to that area that's a lot more sheltered. As you can see the sun is just about to rise, it's looking beautiful this morning. We just want to start serenity prayer at this time and then we give a few more minutes for those late risers who are not able to get up in the morning and the opportunity to meet us and walk with us as well. So let's say our serenity prayer and all those who'd like to join me please do. It's a prayer for guidance, a prayer for direction and a prayer for calmness for me. Um, I use it all the time and hopefully you will also not only say it but you'll understand it and realize that you're only responsible for your own self your own reactions, your own uh, motions, etc. Hopefully you will get an understanding of that and will also help you through your day in case it becomes a challenging one. Okay, those who'd like to join us, please do so now. Remember, we will be going back into silent mode for a few more minutes after this. Um, please, please get ready for that now. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen.
thank you for the vision that I'll be able to see this this morning and also for the ability to share this amazing sunrise with all of our family and friends from all over the world. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning that, that those rays are coming on the lower section here on the clouds. I hope you can pick that up in the resolution. It is absolutely stunning this morning. I know many of you know where we are. We are at Bath Beach, we are at the western end of Bath Beach. We will be taking a we'll walk around the train track this morning along the train track. This is one, one of the most natural and scenic locations on this island. We'll be taking that in and on the way back. We make a lot of sport about the different coastline you say which is the best coastline but none of them can compare to each other so as far as I'm concerned all of them are exquisite in their own way. Beautiful beautiful morning. Alright we're we'll not stay too much longer on this one section. What I will say is I've been told that this was a whole ticket station or something through the railway uh, when it used to run through here right by this rock. You can see the actual structures around it. There was definitely a building on it I'm not too sure. Um, maybe our head cheerleader um, Cheryl uh, Yola, we're going to keep her name, second name, quietly. Um, she might be able to tell us because she was born way back before then. She would know about all the train and stuff. So, good morning, you, Cheryl. We'll tap in on your information later on today because I'm sure you were writing this when you were in your 20s or 30s, maybe. Uh, <laughs> because you're here doesn't mean you're not in my heart. I would just like to um, actually pull up before I go any further. Another person, uh, we'll use her aka anonymous name of Simon, was a nuisance. They took offense to it because they thought that I meant it in a bad way, but trust me. If I tell someone that they're a nuisance or they're a puppet, it's pure love. There's nothing more than that. We just don't do anything else but love on this channel. We never um, say anything insulting to anyone, and if it sounds that way, it's because you don't understand um, the EMC hearts and the EMC bantering and the EMC love that we share. So I just want to clear the air on that this morning. Good morning to all of you all again. Alright, I don't want to hug uh, camera time. I will leave that for our hugger tomorrow. The biggest liar, Nicole. She'll be taking us on an incredible walk tomorrow. Before I move another inch from here, I will still remain in the sun for a little bit longer. I just tell you, tomorrow we are being privileged by allowed to be in Flower Forest. Everyone that wants to come is welcome. Um, we will be getting to Flower Forest. That will be myself and tomorrow morning from around 5 30 but we will start around quarter six or so um, we will be starting from the deck remember if you are coming to flower forest tomorrow you will be privileged by you paying the local price which is 50 percent of the way off this is not an advertisement it's just to let you know that you are able to come tomorrow to flower forest we will be giving out bonds to make sure that we know who was paid because we'll be turning all the money all the funds over the flower forest office this is not a fundraising event for emc this is because we want to enable you to enjoy the peace and serenity that we enjoy on a morning when we go on vlogs even if you uh, have never been out on a day break tomorrow will be the day to join us so please floor for us remember bring your earplugs or bring your life filters with you that you can push into your ears because as you all know Nicole has now become the most notorious liar 
that the EMC has. Um, she said she learned it from the best, but trust me, she surpassed the best. She tells lies and she also insults you and you will not even know the difference. Right, enough of the sunrise, just want to share that with you while we're talking about tomorrow. Remember, come and join us tomorrow. Do not let this opportunity go past. Remember that uh, Flower Forest is in uh, the Richmond area. That's in St. Joseph. We will put up a tag and everything later on. We'll let you know all about that. But this is your opportunity to go somewhere in this island that you cannot go unless you get special permission and that is not awarded to everyone. Thank you, David Spieler and all of his crew um, that will be uh, letting us have access to that facility tomorrow. All right, so we can do a 360 here, just to spin off, show you where I am and give you, uh, and then we'll start our walk. Just a, I am on an elevation here. This is a decking area that is um, a part of one of the little small beach homes here. As you would know, or you may not know, um, Concept Bay and here are two places I've sort of like stayed back in time. They have not come up with condos or big developments or anything like that there. Um, you can also find the Martins Bay as well, but Concept for sure are here. All the traditional style beach homes and stuff um, are all down in this area and they're beautiful. So I'm gonna spin off now, take in the surroundings, enjoy the unspoiled Barbados, here we go. This morning, standing, this breeze is coming off. I'm smelling a little bit of the um, smell of the odor from the rotten sargassum, but not too bad. It's certainly not acidic. I'm burning my nose or anything, so it's not that terrible. In case you are not sure, we have a lot of secret races. Uh, people say secret breaks, not secret breaks, so just lesser surf breaks. There's one off here called Motherfuck um, that will be best at a north swell that comes in. There's a left of people just don't say this rock and breaks right in. It's absolutely great. And for all of our new category of hashtags, known as the EMC Live Warriors, they're the people that come on every morning and um, walk with us. Uh, even if they don't actually do the physical walk with us, they're online because they want to uh, back us, support us, and encourage us on our endeavors. So good morning to each and every one of you all, uh, EMC Live Warriors. Uh, as you all would know already, yesterday we did not carry a live broadcast because the signal um, at the George Street Auditorium was absolutely terrible. I mean, it was really terrible. It would not have been a case of maybe um, pixely. It would have been a case of not showing at all. It was that low. Um, so we didn't, we didn't do that. We decided what we do yes, is we capture a higher definition uh, video for you. But we did act as though we were on a live, as you all would have seen. We did bad talk you all sometimes, but we concentrated more on doing interviews yesterday and enjoying ourselves. Oh, I got a place here that was named... I. I had to say, Cheryl, Eula again. Are you not picking on you? You and Simon. Uh, I would say this place has been named after you all. Specifically. Here you go. Lazy Bones then. <laughs> so, I could easily say Cheryl Eula or Simon Thompson. Uh, I can't say it would say the co-star because the co-star gets out with me in the morning at 3.15 uh, and does all the usual morning procedures. So I you know she is not a lazy person like Cheryl and Simon. There are other lazy people as well too. This morning I saw um, our billionaire come on and say, Man, I forgot to give a hug, buddy. I hope the co-star is on because that deserves a strike. Anytime you come on in the morning and the first thing you do is tell me you forgot to give a hug, man, you need a strike for sure. 
All right, so we're working our way through along the, the hiking trail through Bath. This is an absolutely beautiful terrain. Really, really lovely. I wouldn't recommend coming through here when it's wet um, because it really is slippery down in this section. A little bit dangerous in certain areas as well. However, if you have the opportunity to come down here when it's dry conditions, like as it is this morning, please do not pass up that opportunity. It is great. You can see the hiker trail. This goes, I would say if you're going to be hiking and you want to stay on the coastline, start from Bath. Um, because from Bath it stays on the coastline right through. However, if you start from up at Concept Bay, you have to go quite a bit inland on the grass hills and stuff before you can actually start to venture along the coastline itself because the section in front between Concept Bay and Bath, really, really bad with coral and rocks and stuff. You really have to go in the water where it's deeper on most occasions to get around there. This morning we're going to pick a vantage points to show you this beautiful sunrise from. This is just one. So when you're coming down here, do not come down here with a a partly charged camera. Make sure you come down here with a fully charged camera. Forget the sargasm. That's adding to the beauty of this morning. We call it that a mat of gold. But look at the kind of scenery that you will take in. So you want to make sure that your camera is fully charged and you come down here and open your eyes and see the beauty. Don't come down here and trot along the path and say, oh that was a nice hike. Um, full stop. No, 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 no. That was a nice hike with some beautiful scenery because you will be looking around. Open your eyes to the beauty that surrounds you, please. All right, so just let you know our co star has been behaving extremely well. I don't know if it's a ploy on her part to get back out here because I'm sure that when she gets back out here, she will more than likely turn around and cause trouble again. But in the meantime, she is behaving herself. Um, I am allowing her in the castle grounds this morning. Uh, she's not allowed to go beyond the moat, uh, but she is allowed on the castle grounds this morning. So you may see her out there uh, sending off some comments and stuff using her communication device on the cell phone which I gave her back last week. If she continues along this trend, you will be seeing her next week because I think I'll get lenient and allow her out, so you might see her. For those of you that have been missing her, I don't know why because I've been here, but anyhow, whatever. There is that 0.001% that would not love me, um, but there is also embedded in that 0.001%. There are a couple of people that absolutely simply adore me. I have secret messages from them all in my fireproof safe at home because they would deny it, so I'm keeping it very safe. Um, so trust me, I have them as documents of facts. They'll be entered into the court if necessary. So good morning, you see great police. Your, your name comes to mind right now. Thank you for all those love notes all the time that you keep sending me. I really do appreciate them. Don't tell anybody, it's our secret. I want to let them know about how you are coming on here and bad talking to me all the time, but your truth is, is that you love me and you just want to have conversation with me. Um, so good morning to you and good morning to Maurice. Maurice, my brother, I hope you didn't eat all the food this morning. As you would have seen last night, Bertie will probably not be able to make this morning. Uh, <laughs> Bertie, I'm not bad talking to you, I'm just talking about you. All right, so beautiful, beautiful tracks. All down here is being maintained. You will also find um, some off road bicycle riders, and once in a while, a motocross bike may come through here, but mainly you'll find all the hikers that use this route. What recommendations? walking from the east going westward that way you have the sun behind you and i'm assuming that you'll be coming out on a morning so that would be the time i would recommend for sure early morning and enjoy this beauty and serenity and peace out here and the coolness that comes with it now this is not a piece of litter a stony tree or a piece of shirt that got stuck there because someone jumped as high as the Bajan warrior that is actually an indicator of different hiking tracks as you all know, the Bath Beach House, they offer hikes, etc. Along with the Hiking Association of Barbados, please get in contact with them. If you want to do some intense hiking while you're in the island, if you want to do some pleasure walking, come and join us. Now, this is one of the original supports here that the train line would have come along. We always talk about the erosion and stuff on this side of the island, so you would know that a lot of the land that was on this side has gone because a lot of the train line was structured on very weak surface. When I say weak, not, um, it was a lot of um, surface that actually peeled away. It was not uh, like the coral stone. You can see one of the old train tracks here still sticking up. You can see some, uh, some pieces going out there where the train line would have come across as well. All right, we're going to do one more scenic stop here um, as we can capture the sun from a different angle. I'll let you see the gold beginning to light up as the sun is coming on. This is orgasm. Remember, there's beauty in everything that surrounds us. If you look for the ugliness or you look to be critical of the beauty, you will always find it. And when you're looking for that, you are not opening your eyes to the beauty, and that's the thing. If you want to find fault in anything, you can find fault in anything. Stop looking for 
them, you will enjoy beauty such as this. Have a look at this. 180. There we go. Man, let me start this morning with a 20 second of this beauty. Here we go. more than 30 seconds and that's because it's so beautiful I didn't want to take my eyes off it I didn't want to talk either um, as you can see all along here there are little tracks that lead off the main track so you don't actually have to stay on the actual main track itself you can explore and come out on the points we were just over there you can see the tracks just beyond the tree there the um, fallen tree all these trees by the way a few years back not too long ago were all standing erect however all the surface uh, soil around them has been eaten away by the consistent erosion and you will see most of them have fallen on the inner, on the outside section. You'll also see a small one that's going to grow itself in the area in the coral head. That is quite amazing. You know, let's see how that goes on in time. As you can see, the, the beautiful looking bush that we usually like to talk about a lot today is a little bit burnt from the sea spray, etc. that's out here. So this is not really a very good example of the beautiful bush. Um, we will talk a little more about that as we stroll on. Here we go. This morning we're going to end our vlog with a test, a physical test because our time people got a lot of talk for me all the time so this morning we'll see how that goes I may change my mind because I may decide to get lazy like most of our people on here and not do anything but sit down and watch a TV so hopefully you will not be one of those, do not fit in that category when you come to Barbados please get your shoes, come out and enjoy this I would not recommend it for anyone that's not I would say I would definitely say that I would rate this as a, maybe a three and a half, four. That would be out of five, of course. Um, not just here, but further on as we start to work around the corner towards um, the Martins Bay and then Glen Burnie, etc. It is very, very close to the edge. A lot of slippage has occurred over time, so I would recommend that if you are going to do it, make sure you're sturdy on the foot. Don't come out here if you're off balance. Do not come out here if you had a hard night drinking. Um, <coughs> Simon. <laughs> I didn't mean to call your name just now, sorry, it just came to mind um, because you may get dizzy and fall off the cliff, we won't want that to happen but beautiful, just got to be careful out here you can do this in 2x2s two two as well, but I like to put on hikers, especially mid cuts because they give you support from the anchor roll and stuff so if you step on a stone and you normally get an anchor roll, the mid cut would support that so I like to use mid cuts just to let you know my preference this is a big bush as you can see. Yes, it is a big bush. It's not a tree. I know other people on here in cat lots say tree, 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 especially our co-star, but this is not a tree. This is a bush. You know, um, y'all can understand that and take it from me. As y'all know, I only tell the correct truth all the time. I am not like our host on a Saturday. Um, she likes to exaggerate and also to fabricate. Wait, they go well together. Exaggerate and, and fabricate. That's perfect. Alright, so reasons why I'm telling you about not coming out here when it's wet A lot of this soil out here as you can see is very reddish Mixed with clay and stuff So it would be um, extremely slippery There are also a lot of loose, loose rocks underfoot as well So you've got to be careful, little small stones Just be wary as you're coming out here please Alright, so our vantage points are going to dwindle a little bit Not because of their availability But mainly because of the sun being so intense and bright but we are still looking out their direction. We still give you a scan around as we are walking. As I said, I want to show you how beautiful out here is. Do not just walk on the beaten track. Walk off route and come around to a little beautiful spot such as this. Absolutely beautiful out here. Stunning, stunning morning. See that golden mat again. Absolutely beautiful. 
We'll just take you around the corner and then we'll make our way back. So don't think that we're going this way around because it does not go right around. But just to give you our first look at what is known as Conga Bay. Some people refer to it as Chub Bay, but it's actually Conga Bay. This is also a good point to show you the train tracks that are sticking up there in the water. That's where the train line would have run before. So you can understand how much soil has gone. I would, I really don't know, but you know me already. I like, I like to make up things sometimes. So this is a makeup one. I will always let you know when it's a makeup um, away from the actual facts and truth because I am not like other people that like to lie about everything. Um, but though I, I would imagine that the original soft land would have gone right out to where you're seeing these rocks here. All that would have been support that land prior to the erosion. And then uh, that may not have been uh, around the train time, maybe just a little bit before that. But you could clearly see where the trail um, was or the railway posts are sticking up there. So that's another indication. You all see all this side here especially in this area the beaches are covered in rocks and that is because of the makeup of the actual cliff area you can see it clearly here um, there are a lot of rocks that are embedded in mud and soil not solid coral mass so over time when erosion starts or the big waves start to impact on the actual coastline itself it eats away the soft matter and just leaves these coral heads that you're seeing here so all these would have been surrounded by the weaker matter before they start to get erosion and stuff you will also see a support directly in the center of the Amano for the same railway track. That would have been a bridge that would have put over, over a gorge to allow the railway track to run through there. All right, we're going again. Now, as I am not me talking tomorrow, I'm going to make sure that I give you all a long vlog today. And it's not that I, uh, I talk a lot. It's just that I want to give you a lot more information today. One more time, just to show you where I've just come across and why I'm telling you about exercise and caution. You can see how it slips away. This is the path I just came across. So if it is wet, you will be in a treacherous situation. Also, please note, I will show you, please note this type of grass that's here. It has a pulpy effect. I will show you in a sec if it will focus up. You see it is actually pulpy on the inside. So please be careful because if you step on this here, it will burst on your feet. No matter what kind of hiking shoes you have, um, it can put you flat on your back. It's like a banana peel. So when you see this kind of grass and stuff, it also holds moisture around it or this kind of um, growth here please stay away from it this is not no i say stay away be cautious but you can't stay away from it you can't come into these areas but again we like to err on the side of caution that you know perfect demonstration or representation of the erosion that's going on and the root structure and eating out of the matter that's all here all this section here would have been solid mass recently and i say recently i mean in my lifetime for sure um but as you can see it's getting eaten away bit by bit and you can clearly see what the entire cliff area along here is made up of very loose loose rocks except for the actual coral heads that are embedded under here as you know Barbados is a coral based island so there's coral all over the island you will find big coral heads all up in St. John and the Hopkins Cliff and stuff you also find some down in St. Lucie as well that would indicate to you the rising of the island going through the same kind of erosion that we're seeing behind us now that would have been going through in the years as the island has risen above sea level so that is clear and evident around the island. It's not something I'm making up. You can see the coral heads down, especially a little bit. You see a massive um, coral's head down in the middle of the pasture, just like the one that's at Bashbuck, known as Rung Rock. Again, terrain is losing bit by bit. Again, a lot of erosion has gone on. Um, I, you know, whenever we get really big swells out here, all this higher area here will be affected also by the rainfall as well coming off of the hills any of the rain that's all water is escaping from the water's edge. Again, railway tracks, clear and evident. Look how far out that is. Again, support bridge right there as well, just slightly left of camera, left of center. Again, that will give you an indication of how much erosion has been on here. And remember, the railway only stopped running, I think it was the 30s. Can't remember exactly, cheese on breads. I got all the other information in mind about people to annoy this morning. So somewhere in that time frame, um, Again, Cheryl, you look at tell us because she was riding the railway when she was 20 years old or 30 years old at that time, if it was in the 30s. <laughs> Alright, so it is a well-maintained path. The bridge that was here before, they did away with it and they have constructed a very strong one. You can see it's bolted in. It's not just nails, there are bolts that are going in here to hold this bridge. You can see the remains of the old one there. It is a well-maintained path. I'm not too sure who to give kudos to, but kudos to whoever uh, continues to maintain this path, if it's the hiking association or whoever. You'll also see natural steps that have been made out of fallen tree branches or 
the actual uh, logs here that have embedded into the mud. So this area here will not be as slippery as it would be if they were not present. All right, onward we shall go again. It is absolutely beautiful out here. If you get the opportunity to walk along this area, please do so. I have not walked here for a long time. I didn't bring our co-star along this route yet because of how uh, secluded and lonely it is. Um, however, we hopefully get a few people together one of these mornings and we'll come out here and walk together. See how far out that is? Look at how far that is from the actual coastline. Look at how much coastline has gone since the stopping of the railway running. Unbelievable. And you can clearly see again all the rocks and stuff that have come out of the soil and make up the shoreline right around the shoreline. So these kind of angles here, you really got to be careful when it's wet. All these here, you can see the angle on it, just to give you a better representation of that. You can see what you've been walking across. I'm only showing you this here so that you're well aware of what you're going to encounter if you come and walk in this area. You don't want you to come up here and fall down and say that I think um, represent it properly. I want you to see clearly what can happen and how angry it is. Now if this is wet, you know already. You're not like me. You're not an Olympian, skate, Olympian and a gold medalist at skating. We have mud skating, that is, a, that is a new category, not many of you even heard of it, that's because it is so new. But mud skating, I have that gold medal as well as you can appreciate. I have the gold medal in everything. Anything you can imagine, I have the gold medal in. And if you can't imagine, I will tell you, I have the gold medal in those as well. Beautiful terrain though, beautiful. It's natural Barbados. We've got a good ways to go still. So don't think that we're ending up now. If you have to leave and go to work, I understand that. Please go and work really hard there and make your national insurance contributions because I'm looking forward to them. <laughs> As you know, I'm a retired person, so I don't work. This is not work. Someone, yes, he said, man, you work really hard. I don't work. I haven't worked a day since uh, March of 2020. Not a day. So you understand this is something that I do as my journey. A lot of people say, well, why do you do that free? Why do you do that next? And that is because simple. I'm going to let you see my face when I tell you. So let me turn the camera quickly. I'll turn off the lights so you can enjoy the absolute beauty of an amazing handsome person like myself. Woo, I even, I love, let me catch my breath, hold on. I'm giving myself chills with my beauty. Anyhow, yes, uh, just to let you know, this is my journey of healing. Before I started to come on these journeys, I was lost. I was in a dark place. I know I've been chosen to bring what we're doing and that is because I have been through it. I have experienced dark. I have given up. I know it's like to fall flat on your back and lose absolutely everything that you possess. So I can comfortably talk about it, not from things I hear about people saying, but from me which is what I went through. I've been in some dark places. So there's always a light. I never found it. But then on the 21st of January 2020, I started to find the light. And then from there on, it's just been going from there. So we actually started really to do this whole thing in 2021 and January 21st. Year before I started to find the light, but now the light is bright as so you can see it on my face. Whew. Yeah, I, I, I know. You're just looking at my face, forget your light. I know already. And now we're gonna trot on again. So here we go. Lots of dead trees out here. You can appreciate sea spray out here, see the wind conditions out here, intense. You can see every tree out here is leaning. You hardly find one tree that's erect. Uh, what you will see on the ground here, you must say, well, what are they doing? They're throwing that thing over here. That was actually put up for hikers to take shelter under. It was sort of like at a 45 degree angle that people could get under in case it was rain and stuff. However, the actual support logs are holding it up. have fallen. I'm sure that will be um, renovated and stuff going into summer when we get the hurricane um, season. The systems pass into the East Island. And this is a very popular hikers route, as I mentioned before. So they will probably modify all out here so they can enjoy it as well. All these trees have gone on, gee wizards. So basically, if we're just to the other side of the railway track, you would know that wherever you've seen these big coral heads here, is where the railway used to run over in that general area. All right, so for some of you, maybe half in and puff in and, and stuff, you've got inclines like this here. Not me, because as you all know, I'm the fittest man in the world. Uh, not only the most handsome, but the fittest and the most gifted at um, aerobics and anything called athletics and anything called energy usage as me. I am the master of all of those. Simply, I'm the best. Just simple. There's nothing else to say, but I'm the best. All right, so we can see down here, so orgasm hasn't reached a section too much. It's a little bit. You can see from the color of it, it's been a few days. It's been a little bit there. You can also see the color of the sand over here versus the 
the other two coast lines on the island. This will be the darkest sand in the east coast. Then you will get the second coast, which will be on the west coast, and then you get one the whiter sand on the south coast. All beautiful. with the actual um, dog and cat sanctuary that's up there. We won't talk too much about that because that is a plan, a uh, plan event coming up soon in the not too far distance. Um, we'll talk about that when we get there, of course. What a beautiful morning, absolutely amazing. Yes, and you know, there are people out here that will criticize me, but they're the same people that have been on, I would say for, if we have done a thousand vlogs, they've been on for 900. And 95. I'll give them the chance of five because they were not well or they had to take a family member out or the time they suit them or something. But a lot of people out here take breaks at work. They time their tea break or their lunch break or their washroom break um, to accommodate coming on and viewing what's going on and saying hello to the family. So you can understand that there are people out here that may be critical of me. But they love me so much they cannot do without me. I can't do it out myself either. This morning I spent about 20 minutes in front of the mirror. I told the coaster, I said, listen, you sit there, you behave yourself, and I'm coming back. I will tell you the truth. <laughs> her expression told me she's not going to behave herself, that she's disgusted at what I had to tell her, and uh, she's not happy about me leaving her and coming back. But don't mind, I can appreciate. If I were to leave myself, I would cry all day long. All right, you see what's happening here. I just want to point out to you clearly, all this great, see great bush that's down here. It's all falling away, so very soon a lot of these bushes will be in the sea. See people here talking, Nicole spraying Nicole on saying that I said I wouldn't talk tomorrow. If I don't talk, Nicole will come and harass me because Nicole wants me to talk. Because she feels my love radiating through my talk, just as all you all are right now. It's just beautiful out here. Absolutely beautiful. I see tiny people on here, so. <laughs> I get back, but I might fit in the test and I'll show her. Alright, so again, be wary when you're walking over here. If you're doing any dark, have good uh, lighting equipment with you. Um, if you are going to be doing out here any wet, man, listen, be careful. Bring along a staff. There's nothing wrong with having a staff. It doesn't make you look old, it just makes you a little more secure. Not like me. I don't need a staff because I am that good. I'm amazing at balance. I don't know if you all knew that as well. The balance beam was actually originally called the Bajan Warrior Beam. Um, they changed the balance beam because a lot of people didn't know who the Beijing warrior was, um, but that was me, of course. So all around here, there are different routes that will go off uh, into different hills, lots of different hiking trails and stuff. However, this one runs right along the coastline, right through. As you can go right down to Cattle Wash along the coastline, um, now that Jove River is, um, has their footbridge there, you can make it right through, right into Belle Plain uh, on the coastline. You can actually go almost as far as Pico Tenerife, um, if you want to walk down Walker's Beach and Morgan Lewis Beach or Foster's Funland area, that's where you can get to as well, right along the actual waterfront. It's beautiful out here. I don't want to be going past too fast, but I want to just show you, let's take a little spin here right in the middle of this denser area and let you appreciate and let you hear the sounds of serenity and peace. Here we go. I'm going to dedicate this vlog this morning to my adorable co-star and the only reason I'm dedicating it to her is because it makes me um, cry to have to deal out the punishment to her of keeping her under house arrest. It is very, very painful for me. Um, a lot of people will award out punishments and, and feel happy about it. I feel very, very sad about it. 
I will say, and I know she's going to say that it's not true, and I really can't paint laser for it because I, I know that she, it's hard for her to swallow, but she said sorry yesterday, which was an amazing thing. I, I don't know if I have heard her say sorry before. That is a, that is a big thing. <laughs> Maybe it's because she has not been wrong before, but this time she was definitely wrong. Um, so as you all would know, she had to take the punishment, and it hurt me just as much as it hurt her, I'm sure. All right, so here we go again. All types of off-road tracks go right up through the hills. We're not going to be taking that one. We're going to stay in the main one this morning. But it just shows you that it's not just one area to hike down here. You could come down here and spend days, not one day, days exploring this area. Everywhere you go to different elevations are going to give you different scenic views and stuff out here. Again, one of the support areas for the railway that used to run through here. We'll give you a better view of that now. You can see the massive sodstone um, blocks that were used here. Uh, and you can see also the infrastructure and the laying of it. It's beautiful. It's just not just lovely. Just take a couple of seconds here, let you enjoy that. Hopefully it will focus up enough that you just won't see a blur um, lighting. But it's beautiful. Alright, off oh, where we should go again. I would say we're about 50% through our stroll now. Those of you who have to go, as I said before, please uh, go along. We will have this on YouTube later, hopefully in a better resolution. So you'll really begin to enjoy it. But remember, for anyone that's watching this, whether you're on YouTube or wherever you are, oh, hold on a minute though. You all see this here? I am not gonna backward limbo it, because that is too easy. I'm gonna forward limbo this here. So here we go. You all see how low I'm going? Jeez, I'm so low then. That is what you gotta call class. Hey, hold on a minute, let me, let me applaud myself. I deserve an applause for that for sure. Beautiful Chab Bay, or Chab Bay, or what we know as Congo Bay officially. Beautiful area. Heavy, heavy fish out here, a lot of fish present. You'll find fishermen along here. You can see all the fishing poles coming into view along the outer rocks and stuff. Everyone climbs out to them now and fishes off them and spends the day. But what a beautiful view. So we're gonna see like cliffs over in distance of chalk, very similar to what you'll find down at Cove Bay on the northern side of the island or northeastern side of the island. Um, there are chalk as well, very slippage, a lot of slippage, not strong. You have to be really careful. The traps that go across here, as I said, are a little bit on the perilous side. Again, that is the tower there um, for our signal this morning, so we should be getting a beautiful one. Um, I will tell you that as you go under there, just be on the center of the camera where you're seeing the railway um, structure that was put there to carry the rail tracks over. From there on is a dark spot until you get right wrong into Martins Bay. When I say dark, the signal fluctuates so much you will not get a consistent signal. So we don't walk that in live, but we do have it in 4K resolution. So everywhere that we've not covered um, on the lives, we have covered in 4K resolution. Again, give you an understanding of the soil and, and what the structure is like over here. I know a lot of people have thought all these cliffs were big coral masses. They are not. There are coral heads mixed in with mud and rock around it. So you can clearly see that um, these are soil, or this soil that you're seeing on your left would have gone out beyond these rocks originally because that's where the railway line went through. This is why you got called natural beauty. I'm going to go back a little bit. I'm going to give you 20 seconds from here. And trust me, it's not because I want to hold, uh, catch my breath because <laughs> there is no way that I will get flabbergasted or breathless out here. So here we go, 20 seconds. Timekeeper, click now. All right, I gave you all a few more seconds beyond the 20 because if our timekeeper is cheap like our billionaire, she would not have bought batteries for her um, clock and therefore it would not be working. Yes, she actually bought an updated clock. Hers originally was one of those that you had to wind up because she is so cheap, she did not want to buy a new one. She still has one that was passed down from her grandparents and stuff. So, um, but she does now have a battery clock, but unfortunately she is so cheap that she will not buy batteries. So that is why I extended that a little bit because the next thing she'll tell me is, Ma, you didn't go the 20 seconds, Nick, blah, blah. Anyhow, we know it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now remember, I only pick on people because I love them. I don't pick on people for other reasons. And they're fun and they can take it. And that is why you like to do that. There are special people and then there's some I don't pick on at all um, who are so grumpy uh, and irritable, like Simone Thompson. I don't pick on her at all because she's that grumpy and miserable. All right, here we go. As I was telling you, look at the, how the slip away of the terrain is here. 
See how this path is slowly but surely diminishing in thickness. It has definitely moved a lot since we were here last time. You can see clearly that if you're walking across here, you've got to be careful. You can also see there is a path that is starting to be beaten down on the inside here going around these trees. But we don't have to do that because I am so versed and so skilled. I can actually hop across here. I will backflip too, but if my co-star was here, I'll give her the gimbal so you all can watch me. But um, I'm going to do it forward at the moment because um, I'm trying to keep it good. And also, as I said before, I am so fast that the refresh rate on cameras cannot catch me. So I do uh, slow things for you all and only for you all. But beautiful. Look at this. The nature out here. Stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Trisha, our bus driver, our crazy bus driver. Please let me speak to your guests because... Oh uh, no, you're, you're supposedly off today. You won't have guests with you. But Trisha will not let me speak to her guests because she does not want us to spread our love to them. She says, they will understand you. Who would not understand me? I talk the Queen's English. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Woo, here we go again. If we give me talking nonsense, I could just as well say, Mary, you're such a sweet person. <laughs> More bridges again. Remember, there are a lot of waterways down here. So a lot of these areas are being reinforced with gimbals. So they don't actually lose the banking. So this area has been reinforced, as you can see. Remember, these here are actually hand-packed. These, these are machines that bring the rocks and stuff nearby, but they're actually hand-packed. And this is one of the waterways. Now, it would be a beautiful scene to come out here if this was flowing fully with rainwater and stuff. However, as I said before, treacherous, treacherous terrain. The last time I think we came out here, or the time before, um, we encountered horrors out here with signals because it was so rainy and non-stop slippage. Just, uh, according to one of our Calypsonians, one step forward and two steps back. That's how it was. Beautiful, all right? I'm gonna give you all a rare, rare treat. So look, try and enjoy this here. Uh, uh, and don't be picky and, and, and quarrel or nothing. So I'm gonna let you have a little walk in silence. Here we go. Listen to the sounds of these rocks pulling in the water, listen. Whoa, is that not serene and beautiful? I mean, talk about nature and the sounds of nature. My gosh, how, how settling and calming. Absolutely beautiful. Right before we move any further from here, I want to also give you a 20 seconds look in this direction. This is stunning. I mean, this is absolutely breathtaking. Enjoy this. I see somebody talking about there and enjoying the sounds, but I keep licking my mouth. You all feel born in cucumber season? I smart, you know. I know the only way you can hear those sounds if you also hear my voice. If you put me on mute or you put in earplugs, you won't hear me and you won't hear any of the beautiful sounds. So I smart, you know. That's how it is. All right, so before we move from here as well, you know me, I am fair. Um, our EMC is a very democratic setup situation. We have three members in the committee. Now, this is not the false committee that got like 500 members. This is the real committee, the genuine committee, the real McCoy. We have three members and that's because we believe in democracy. If you only had one, it would be, I would say it would definitely not be democratic at all. If you had to, you can always have conflicts of people, one person saying yes, one person saying no. So we have brought in three members, so we're 100% democratic. Our members go by the names of me, myself and I. And therefore, we never disagree. It's very easy to do. <laughs> so you all think that we're not a, a peaceful and democratic group, you've got to be joking. But, so based on what I'm saying and about my kindness 
on my faithfulness. I'm gonna do some breathing exercises with you all. We don't have any smell of this orgasm here, so there we go. This one, first one, this very first one is for you. Here we go. That's beautiful. I don't just mean the view, I mean the actual intake of that lovely air. Here we go. The second one now is for me. And the third for myself. And the fourth for I. See? Democracy all the time. <laughs> Here we go again. Onward. Wow, I, I actually took an uh, over and take an option there. I'm feeling like giddy and high, man. Jeez. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. All right, so as I said, a little slippage in some areas. We have some inclines and, and areas to go up in a minute, but we're going to take it all in because I want you all to enjoy this beautiful nature of this area. Remember, this is the what they call the hikers or the train trail along from Bath, and we're going in the direction of Congo Bay. And you will see some areas that we're coming up to now um, that would be perilous if it was raining. Uh, our deputy came walking with me out here. I don't know why he would not come back walking with me. I can't think that it would possibly be because I talk too much because he is immune to that because he's always on the live vlogs. But he came with us on one walk and then has refused to go after that. One day he told me, man, it's too rainy. Well, we vlog every day, Mr. Deputy, so shame on you. But these areas are the ones that will cause a little bit of a problem for you, as you can see. This is a good drop off here. It's also very, very um has a few little pebbles and stuff in it also if it is very very clayish as you can see from the colors of it um so it would be like this here for example because the demonstrations of the clay effect and stuff that's out here so just be careful when you're coming in sections like this especially if it's raining this is why i keep saying come when they're dry conditions as you can see this is one of the more difficult areas to negotiate not for me of course because nothing really is difficult for the king that would be me again I know I call myself the Beijing warrior, but sometimes you just say, look, this is the king speaking. You all would know that as well. So beautiful. Heavenly though. Whoa. All right, so we want some more sounds of rocks. And we want to get right down on the sea level so you can really appreciate how lovely out here is. So just give me a second. Let me get myself in the position. And then give me about 20 seconds of this stunning location. Here we go. As you all can hear, I'm not bad talking to anyone today. I don't know if I was 20 seconds, I lost track. I was taken away by the beauty, but as you all can hear clearly, I am not bad talking to anyone today. So um, I'm on a very peaceful mission on this Friday. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm not gonna let anyone um, disrupt my beautiful day, as I said before. I left the bad behavior at home again. Don't worry about it, man. Start giving, start giving me calls about give her freedom, give her a break. Ma, forgive her. I have already forgiven her. And I'm already giving her a break. I gave her back her cell phone. So don't say that I'm unfair or unjust. Nice, beautiful terrain. This is where we've just come from. Just give you an indication. So from here, you can get an idea of the kind of walk that you're going to be taking. And if you do come down here. Beautiful. As you can see it is a well-worn route very easy to walk through here very easy to enjoy as long as you have any kind of um, stability and stuff you'll be fine I know you all would have thought I would have hit my head on that tree because I am so big and so tall but I actually bent forward although you all did not see it the gimbal smoothing out a lot for you <clears throat> Over we go So you understand that on the way back this morning, I'll be doing some still shots. Hopefully I'll get some nice stuff. If our co-star had behaved herself, she would be here this morning taking the beauty through her eyes, which is, as you all know, another one of our hashtags for all the photography that she's been taking in. You know, when she first joined me, I'm not going to put down her photography at all, but when she first joined me, she was seeing pictures, um, just pictures that normal people would see. But after walking with me every morning, um, she has seen a beauty that you need to 
come and experience for yourself. You will see her photos not only capture the beauty around, but it also captures the entire atmosphere and stuff that goes with it. That may sound strange for still shots, but you can check them and see for yourself. She has an amazing eye, therefore we have now given her the hashtag beauty through her eyes. Goodness gracious me. I'd like to say good morning to two families that made their way to the community last night. I think it was, um, I know it was the first time for one, and the other ones have not been for a long time. The Steele family who've just come back to Barbados. Good morning, Paul and family, and welcome to Barbados again. And also the Hawkins family who came on last night. You all would have seen them in the vlog as well. Um, they were staying there when they left. They were actually embedded in the Q community. They had been taken in and they were being loved they're being cared for just as though they had been around for years and they, I think I think speaking on the correction it may have been their first time but from what I saw on the post last night from Dave I know for sure that he was blown away by the friendship and the camaraderie that he uh, received yesterday from all of the Q family again one of the other spots that you will do some sliding on if you're not careful if you would like to go to these um, on these days when it's raining and stuff along routes such as this please join my mud skating um, courses I actually have a certification running on uh, mud sliding. That is, as I said before, an Olympic sport that I hold a gold medal, so you will not find a better instructor. And as you all know, I am the best teacher around. That will go without saying. We should have a little signal here, right below, right below the actual tower itself. So I'm going to take you through right on all the growth area and stuff. There are the tracks that lead off over to your left. You can go a little further inland, but we're going to take this one in. We're coming up on an hour now. I don't mind because I am ready to talk. I, as I said, last night I didn't have the pleasure of having you all on the lives. This morning I do. And tomorrow morning, well, I won't be able to get in a, a word edgewise because you all would know already our biggest liar, known as Miss Care, for six days of the week. But then on the seventh day, she becomes a monster. She will be taking over tomorrow. I won't have a chance to put in a word except for if I could catch her off guard when she's either catching her breath or when she's scolding someone else, so we'll see how that goes. Because you all know she doesn't doesn't just come over and scold you, uh, and you walk away saying, "Boy, she vex." Uh, I don't understand her. She will call, scold you in such a diplomatic manner and so kindly, you walk away saying, "You know she's right. You know I'm a bad person. Don't let her fall. Don't fall for her for her smart work. She is that way inclined." All right. So more beautiful scenery. So gosh, we could we could stop every place and just do scenic photos uh, and do our EMC photo opportunities we're gonna do that right now we go here in this one because we do not have any more on the actual course itself so I want to take you over here that you can enjoy this beautiful scenery traps go all along to the beach here absolutely stunning you can see the, the chalk we talked about before all along the cliff area there very weak matter indeed um, you can see the banking is starting to slip away with the growth going right down to water in the center of the camera now as I said, as you hit that section there, um, where you're seeing the railway support in the center of the camera, from there on is a dead spot. You won't get live signal, or if you do get it, it'll be in and out, so you won't be able to carry on a live vlog for sure. But again, we're seeing the top of the cell tower up on top of there, it's beautiful. All right, so I did tell you in the beginning that I was gonna go and prove to our timekeeper how fit I am, and also to everyone else on here that doubted it, I'm gonna walk up this hill and I'm going to keep talking. Jeez. <laughs> what a challenge. Uh, not one for me. A challenge for anyone else except for the Bajan warrior who is super fit. And that, that I, I don't really like to blow my own trumpet. Do, 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 do. But I will this morning. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You can drive down here. You don't have to have a beast. I wouldn't advocate it though. Because down here, very lonely. If anything happens to you or your vehicle down here, well, you have a little bit of a problem. So please be careful. You can see it goes up and up and up. Mark will remember here well. Mark, 
I remember throwing my rope around my waist and giving it to you so you could pull, I could pull you up the hill. Uh, I know you'll probably come on and say that is not true, Nicholas. I came up the hill smartly and good. But everybody knows I do not lie. So, Mark, it was no problem. I could have actually taken a few more people as well. So next time you're coming with me, bring along some friends and family. I will pull them all up this hill quite easily. I will select my 4x4 and I will go. Just let you see some scenery behind us as we are ascending the hill. There we go. <clears throat> let me turn it on something that is not going to blind you all sunwise and then I will lock it and then I will continue my walk yes I will continue my talk as well so here we go I'm going to lock that on there we're going to test the gimbal today in one of its functions and that is remaining on the scenery so you have to take all the photographs you all want right now click click just shut your eyes and reopen them that will be an instant brain memory lovely out here this grass you're seeing is known as sour grass no, not, I don't know if it's because it tastes sour. I have never chewed on this grass, but then again, there are some of us that have, so maybe they can tell the story about it. You've got to be careful though, in the areas when you're walking, because this tends to grow flat. I'll show you in a second. Just get the camera good for it spins around. You'll see how it grows flat, and it's long strands. So if you're walking in an area that's not well beaten down, oh hey, look at that amazing thing, almost as perfect as me. Good morning, buddy. How are you going? Say hello to all your friends and family. Let them know you're here. Who is the greatest person in the world? Who is the strongest person in the world? Who is the most handsome person in the world? You see, everybody agrees with me. Everybody knows what I'm saying is true. I don't tell things. We will be ending our vlog. I am going to be I am super fit. Uh, she always says it, but I think she's saying it sarcastically. So today I'll prove to her that I can do this here easily. I would actually run up this hill in a sprint. But the problem is, as I said before, refresh rate on cameras. I've not got fast enough to keep up with me, so I don't do that. Not you get a blur effect. No fun in a blur effect when you walk. So let me see where we're going again. So you can understand the elevation that we're going up. That's where we're going. I'm going to take you up there for a last view of this beautiful area. So for next week, if all goes well, if um, certain people behave themselves, you will have the opportunity uh, to see our coast again. It all depends. As I said before, it all depends on the behavior and pattern. For behaving well, she's turned around, bit me for them. You know, they say don't bite the hand of uh, the person that feeds you. Well, she did it on numerous occasions, so that's why she's a bat on the house rest again. But as I said, I am not cruel, I left herself over. Her. If you all get an S, you all S up and save me, ignore it. It's obviously just her. So, here we go. I just why you don't want to come down here in a standard rental vehicle. Remember, when you rent a vehicle in Barbados, the majority 4x4s, the 4x4 system is disconnected. Or you will have one of those all-time 4x4s. Or you'll have one of those, I don't want to say lady-driven 4x4s, but as it's come out of my mouth already, one of those lady-driven 4x4s, not a beast. Unless you have a, a monster like our co-star, she drives an F-150. That didn't really surprise me as much as when I heard that Mary had a Norton 350 motorcycle that she used to ride. She was Mary. I can imagine your leathers in those days. All right, so up where do we go again? You all hear the speed? And you all hear the breathing? Clear, fine. No problems in the transmission. No problems in the breathing. actually come down here with some folks that have the east they've gone on these kind of hills and stuff so you know it's like but you can see how rough this terrain is don't mind the tracks do not drive down here please going around again lock it off in a beautiful scenery
don't think I'm stopping talking because I'm out of breath. If I was walking with our Spice Girls, as you would know, this section here in the hill would take two hours alone because they would have to stop at any, every different plateau to catch your breath. Not me. I could continue going right through. Look, one thing I bring you up here to show off. No, I'm not doing that. I bring you up here to show off. So get ready for that. Slippy as what if it was wet. Remember, get your right foot wear. Well, you know what I say. Everything goes up must come down, so I'm looking forward to going down. This hill seems to be a little longer than I remembered. Not more difficult, but longer. No way, the walk is worth it. And so is the time. Right, so let's start. Taking in our surroundings now. We're almost at the top. You can start seeing Hackton's Cliff coming into view and also Newcastle area. Well, well, well. I can't believe I put myself through this to show my timekeeper how fit I am. Beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Absolutely stunning. And just so you know, I am not too sure of the exact purpose. I know what three crosses represent. I know especially when I'm on a hill such as this. But that's what I would assume it is. Um, but I'm not too sure. I've checked with a lot of very knowledgeable tour guides and they haven't told me the exact reason but speculation such as mine as well but look at this view here watching the sunrise from here we've done that before if you get the opportunity to look back at some of our Conger Bay and Bath hikes you will see that as well the cresting sun coming up from there beautiful absolutely beautiful that hill thing. Yes, Nicole, I gotta bring you on this hill. We can do some up and down runs just to show you how it goes. And as you can see, look, I'll show you, look. Breathe in peace. No problem, you know, 
because I'm the fittest man in the world. Um, there's some reason I'm just the best ever, so don't worry about it. I am not breathless. I am fit. I'm ready to go. So I'm going to be making my way back down the elevation here, working my way along the whole trap. We just came down, and I'm going to be doing some photos. So hopefully, I'll have some beauties that I can share with you later on. Uh, I will do so, hopefully. But I'm happy you all joined us this morning. Each and every one of you, thank you again for getting up in the morning. You truly are the EMC Live Warriors. I thank you for being here every morning. Thank you for the inspiration, for the motivation, for the inspiration, for the encouragement. And I thank you all for being in my life because my life is a way of my imagination. Before I started the uh, podcast journey, I want to show you guys the whole practice. I was, I was spinning in circles um, since I have met you all, since I've started walking this journey with you all, and you were walking your own journey with me. Life has changed completely for me. As I told someone yesterday, I have never been richer. years and years ago my aunt came in there and said to me I had a dream that you were going to become a priest well first of all if my leg was not strapped down I would have dropped through the bed for sure because I know it is that would never be in my mind it's still not in my mind all I want to do is to walk my path and really like that I'm finding I can walk up in my own situation I don't tell you it's going to work for you I'll let you know what I deal with it what helps me what cures me what heals me what keeps me straight me Thanks for joining us this morning. I hope you had a great time. I hope your eyes are not sore from watching all this amazing beauty in front of you. But I uh, had to let the last little part go by. Um, have a good day. Enjoy your Friday. Remember that although you're looking forward to the weekend, no way until the weekend to enjoy yourself. Start enjoying yourself from right now. Don't let a minute pass. If you have a minute where you feel sorrow, you feel pain, that is expected. You have to feel those emotions. Enjoy. However, you don't live in them. Experience the condition, experience the suffering, and then move on. Because we're not supposed to live in sorrow. We're supposed to live in joy and happiness. So to each and every one of you all again, have a great Friday. Remember, tomorrow is an amazing event. If you're on the island and you miss the opportunity to go into Flower Forest at Sunrise and Big Ray, while you are missing that opportunity, take it from me. You are going to be sorry when you see the fog because up there is absolutely magical. So come and join us tomorrow if you would like. Remember, there's a nominal uh, entrance fee, which is the cost, uh, the local cost for anyone that comes. And we look forward to having your company and joy. Remember as well, though, bring your light filters because our notorious liar, uh, Miss Care, will be doing her thing tomorrow. And also, uh, I would recommend you bring your own cameras to take pictures of yourself because she'll probably hog the camera so much she would not see herself on the vlog. Have a great day. Peace and love from Barbados. Hope you've enjoyed this long walk. I have certainly had a blessed time. Um, look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. I'll be on the other side of the lens tomorrow. I won't be giving any trouble, as I never do. Um, I will just be there peaceful and just being company. Have a great day. Love from Barbados. Lo love from Congo Bay. Um, have a great day, folks. See you all later.